This is a form created by Jack Collum where um, each stanza uh, is uh, one line of a poem where the first line of the first stanza and the, uh, the one, first line of the second stanza and the first line of the third stanza and so on make poems and they all kind of stack up against each other like this really beautiful train wreck and if you can keep your mind all compartmentalized which guys have a problem doing that girls are, they're good at it uh, th it can be like um, this can be three poems in one so this is a multi-perspective poem uh, created by uh, uh, w created from a form that I heard from Jack Collum, a Boulder poet, and uh, it's a montage of three perspectives of the same event. So enjoy it. This is about a crime. It's called the crime of passion. One. The more you do something, the better you get at it. The failed coup in Liberia has nothing on our love. The trash must be removed without fail every Thursday morning, too. I'm at the top of my game. People look at me in Russian. I'm super gluing to my bedroom ceiling your words forever. Vacuum the carpet. Mow the lawn when it needs it. You will know when. Three. I can taste the lies from ten city blocks away, walking down the street. You break my heart over and over again. The place looks nice today, and the window's been replaced. Four. I can smell blood from four stories high. I've been stealing peeks outside your window at night for weeks now. I can't stand where I used to because of the stench. Five. And I could feel the desperation from the second I shook your hand in the doorway. You break my heart over and over again, over and over again, over. Gret, regret makes its home in a deep, dark place. Six, forgive me, darling, for I have sinned. Benevolence rides in a sea through satin slipstream, caught up on the wind. She is caustic only to her dearest friends, those dapper and eloquent fools who ply the open blue skies below her. She is foolish to those who judge her and gullible enough to be happy. Ignorance dates her in his mind. They do not wear clothes or speak suddenly, but simply marvel at sunsets and carnival rides. She is not a perfect representation of her kind, but eats whenever she is hungry. I dream of benevolence in my waking moments and she returns her love to me in manageable packages ten shrink wrapped nimble little fishes obsequious in my personal koi pond she wrecks me benevolence barges in through the window again her smile sideways and quirky she tells me I am responsible for both my dreams and my nightmares and that they are exactly the same thing We've been lovers for eons before the old gods were forgotten by men and the old women tilled the earth below these open blue skies. My wife and I had babies, little kids. One of them is four and one of them is six. About four years ago, my wife said, why don't you ever write me poems anymore? as I was changing a diaper, looking over my English literature homework for the evening, contemplating fixing the front porch swing, trying to write out a bill for my graduate classes, and deciding what to wear to school tomorrow, and whether or not that could double as an outfit for my second job at the rock climbing gym. And I told her, this is called rocket ship, or from the blood red surface of Mars, desolate and demure. It's in five parts. One, I loved you the first time I saw you through the gullet of deep dark space from a different world in my free time eked out between the fueling of spacecrafts and the testing of the atmosphere for ion particulates. I attempted to locate Venus through the silver barrel telescope I borrowed from the indigenous people. They were not using it. It was a holiday. Through the lens of that Martian landscape, I loved you from the first time I saw you. Two, 
I will practice for the journey by jumping up and down on my bed inside my personal compound, closing my eyes and holding my breath for years. I'll need energy bars, a steering wheel, and my jet-fueled rocket pack. I know how you feel about jet-fueled rocket packs. Inhale, jump, one, two, three, escape the pull of gravity. Jump, one, two, three, escape the pull of gravity. Jump, three. I navigate the constellations and the astral projections. Do not trust the instruments when love is on the line. Intention becomes a pinhead. Pinhead becomes a bigger, bigger orb, a marble orb, a swirling marble, swirling pimrose marble floating between my thumb and index finger, protected by silver insulated glove poised against my windshield, six inches thick. Four. Pulled by the gravity of chemical angels, that's love, hot forged in force, shortened light speed, heartbeat, light love shining backward through a pinhole in a shoebox, cardboard top concentrated in a pinhead, that's love, a couple of galaxies <gasps> pulling one another to one another, destroying themselves <gasps> in one another while recreating each one, photon light so bright it shoots inward, that's love. Five, when I arrive, when I finally arrive. I will hold my ears and send up a flare from my crash landing zone. Red lipstick rising through gray plumes, off-gassing. Send me the directions and code to my smartphone. Spell every word really slowly. Lock your door up real tight and wait for me. Still holding my breath. On Venus, everything's warmer, everything's closer and softer. Yes, I love you and would love to see Venus up close someday to break through the clouds in my silver red spaceship, land on the undulating surface with the smell of cinnamon, lavender, pink cotton candy, two half moons mostly obscured the colors of the juiciest peaches. Knock on your door, weighing way too much. Then slip inside your atmosphere and weightless, finally exhale. Space exploration is fun.